welcome to another week's episode of Fun with Whole Foods. This week we're looking, I guess, at candy, and um, we're going to be making some almond buttercups, which um, a healthier, lower sugar alternative to Reese's cups, basically. Um, so we're going to use about 40 grams of chocolate in total, about 20 to line the cases and then about 20 on the top later. And go pretty much as dark as you can stand. I'm doing 85%. Um, the 90% that I tried, I found the consistency of the chocolate when it was melted ran straight out of the cups and it didn't line the cups well enough. So I'm going to melt that in the microwave quickly, 30 to 40 seconds usually does it. Do, 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 do. And while that's melting, get some petty four cases to little mini cup cases basically. Um, this recipe is going to make nine almond butter cups, so go for nine cases, get them out nice and ready. Um, Obviously this is a recipe that's done in stages because you have to wait for the chocolate to set. Don't know entirely how long that takes so you line the cups on one evening and then finish making the filling and the topping the next evening and then eat them the day after that. So uh, I've seen some people talk about chucking them in the freezer for 10 minutes. Um, you're going to know how best to re-solidify chocolate according to your environment where you live. So I'm going to pretty much just leave that one up to you. So we've melted our chocolate and you can be partial and do it in a bannery but I don't find dark chocolate has the same problem as white chocolate and milk chocolate where it goes grainy. So to line the cups take almost a teaspoon of chocolate, maybe about half a teaspoon, drizzle it in and spin it round blah de blah de blah and I use the spoon to help get the chocolate into the little crevices of your, your petit four case just roughly if there's any excess try and drip that out back in the bowl pop it upside down I use a tray um, with some baking parchment on it and then go and pop that in a cold place to solidify so what we're then going to do Next day, you'll go and find some lovely solidified chocolate lined cases, and then we're going to make the filling. Now, this is um, I'm making salted almond butter cups because um, I like the saltiness, so I'm there's a couple of ways that I do this. Number one is I use a uh, salted almond butter um, which has a bit of sea salt in. The other way would be for me to use some of my pink Himalayan salt and just grind it into the nut butter. But you want to take 60 grams of nut butter and there's only 30 grams left in this tub. Oh yeah, 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 we peel it out, we peel it all out from the sides and we get our 60 grams. Right, and then this is quite liquidy, so that's not going to make a fabulous filling. So what we want to do is we want to thicken it up. Um, I've tried a couple of different ways. I've tried doing coconut flour, which if you're going for you can give it a go, but I found I found it made my mouth feel very dry when I ate them, so I've, I, I've been using oat flour. And start off with a tablespoon, and you mix it in, and you just kind of, I don't know if you guys find with nut butters that sometimes you get an oilier spoonful out than others. Don't know, that's just me. So you kind of mix in, and then if you feel you need a bit more, Take a tablespoon and add a little bit more oat flour and just keep on adding until you get the right sort of consistency. You want a sort of dough consistency, I think. 
So I'll just go for consistency a bit like that. Because the oat flour is still going to absorb a bit more liquid. But this is ready to go in. So this is going to split between nine cups. So generally it's about half a spoon. Maybe a little bit more. I'm going to fill this one up quite full because I'm just showing you one. So you divide it evenly between nine cups and it will stick to your fingers. And it'll look like that. And then you ream out your leftover chocolate, add a bit more if you want. Like I say, I usually find I end up using a total of about 40 grams of chocolate for this recipe. Then you just drizzle that over the top. Um, you can completely fill up the cup to the top or you can just drizzle to cover the nut butter. It's up to you. And voila. Then you leave it to set. A beautiful cup. Really hope you can see this. And then you get ready to peel it off. If you have to find a corner to peel off. And you can unwrap your homemade nut butter cup without any added sugar. I don't know if you noticed that there's no added sugar. There's a bit of oat flour and almond butter in the middle. So you know exactly what's in there. It's a beautiful sweet treat. Right, open it up. Mm -hmm. See? There you go. What a nice, fairly thin lining around the outside of the chocolate. And a lovely nutty butter centre. Absolutely beautiful. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's a bit fiddly, but I hope you try it out because it's a wonderful treat without any of the nasties in there. I'll see you guys another week.